Hello and welcome to Spring Watch here at RSPB On. I'm wildlife researcher Jack Baddams and I'm going to take you on a quick whistle stop tour of the site to show you behind the scenes. Follow me. So, first stop on the tour, follow me in here. This is the brains of the operation. This is the production tent. This is where our production managers who organise everything live. This is where our research team and our producers, hello, research team, hello. This is where they're building the programme. So editorially, working out what's going to go in the show, making the amazing props, as Lucy does here. Um, so this is where, essentially, the show that you watch is built by the people in here. It's scripted. But there's plenty more that goes into the programme, so let's carry on. Arguably the most important bit of Spring Watch, of course, the catering tent, where we all get nicely watered and fed, but also where we have our morning meetings at 10 a.m. That's where everyone on the team gets together. And because Spring Watch is changing all the time with the animal characters and things that we filmed, we all have our meeting in there and we thrash out what the programme is going to look like. With the presenters, everybody is allowed to get involved uh, and put their ideas forward. So now we're going to go out of the beautiful Arn sunshine and into some of the deep dark trucks that we have here in the Springwatch production village. This one is our edit team. So we open the door and follow me into here. And this is where our edit live. Now these are a bit of the unsung heroes here on Spring Watch. These are the people that are taking all the clips that are filmed, uh, that, whether that's clips of wildlife from our live cameras, whether that's clips from our wildlife long lenses that are out there filming things, whether that's things involving presenters, all sorts of different footage is put in here, and these are the guys that make sense of it, clipping it all together into a nice little story that you see on the programme. And then across to this big beast, this is the gallery truck. So if we head in here, it's pretty steep stairs, so watch yourself up here. And mind the door. This is where, when the live programme is on, it's all being directed from. So the live director, producers all sit in here and monitor the show as it's going out live. So when we cut to a live wildlife camera, it's because it's been spotted up on this screen here and We've spoken to the presenters in their ear so that we can cut to it and we can make sure we get that, all that live action. Oh, and there's a nice uh, example of everything that's happening live. That's our digital program that's running at the minute. So they're constantly checking things and making sure the show is going to run smoothly. But when the live program is on, this is really the nerve center. But the best thing to show you is the next truck. So this is my favourite, this one. This is my home pretty much for three weeks. This is our wildlife hub. It's the best bit of Spring Watch. It's the true essence of Spring Watch. Follow me into here. This is where we see all the wildlife action firsthand. So we've got cameras all over on and they're all wired back into this truck here where we have people like Henry and Jack sat here 12 hours a day, 24 hours a day we have people in here monitoring these cameras so that we don't miss any of the wildlife action. And this is really the best place to be on Spring Watch because it's where you get to see all of the dramas unfold in real time. You get to see the fantastic highlights on the programme but here we get to watch them unfold as things fledge, as things hatch and of course, unfortunately, there's lots of things get eaten too. So the last thing I want to show you may not be the first thing you think of when you think of Spring Watch, but it's pretty important and we're pretty proud of it. So follow me as we head over to the other side and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, at Spring Watch, we of course we talk the green talk, but we also try to walk the green walk. So this here is our hydrogen generators. Spring Watch is, well, the watchers were the first program, first outside live broadcast programs to be powered completely off of hydrogen. So while we're trying to bring you the best of British wildlife, we're also trying to do as much as we can to have a little impact on the planet. So we're pretty proud of our hydrogen here on the show. But that's all, thank you for joining me on this very, very quick whiz around the production village. And I hope you've enjoyed that little behind the scenes look.